What is up, Drum Alert Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get into the news! Jake Paul has been arrested! Well, he hasn't really been arrested, but he has been charged on last Drum Alert. We told you that Jake Paul got caught looting! Well, he claims that he wasn't looting, but he did admit that he was trespassing, and he has been charged today, and he's looking at some time. But first, let me give you a little bit of the background. Jake Paul was trending worldwide for uh, allegedly looting in Scottsdale, Arizona. And then the very next day, he tried to make up for it by doing a giveaway, saying that it was going to, uh, you know, the people People in the need going through a hard time. Did that on Instagram saying he was giving away $15,000. However, this wasn't a charity. This wasn't out of the goodness of his heart. This was a brand deal. In fact, we've seen this type of brand deal so many times before. In order to win the 15K, you had to go follow every single account that High Key Agency was following, which was a bunch of brands. So obviously people were a little upset over that, but then finally, Jake Paul responded to the looting allegations when he uploaded a brand new video last night titled The Looting Situation Explained, Deleting Soon. However, the likes and dislikes were completely hidden because, well, people are very mad at him. And in the video, he basically said, hey, look, I was trespassing, but I wasn't looting. Yeah, people didn't really agree with that, but here's a clip of that video, roll it. You need to document things that I think need to be shared with America. If along that process, people wanna accuse me of things that they know I'm not doing because my name is Jake Paul, then so be it. I'm an easy target, I know I am. It sucks, but it's not gonna stop me from doing what I love to do. Okay, Elijah Daniel, popular YouTuber, responded by saying this. No, you looted a bottle of vodka from P.F. Chang's. <laughs> yeah, we did see that. Peter Munn responded by saying Jake Paul's video was a joke. He said what happened to George Floyd wasn't okay, right? It was murder. And then two times that he was trending and how he wasn't looting, but he needed to be there because he's a filmmaker. I think you seriously are missing the point, Jake. This ain't about you. But then today we saw Jake Paul criminally charged. That's right. Arizona ABC tweeting out, YouTuber Jake Paul has been charged with criminal trespassing and unlawful assembly after a video shows him alongside looters in Scottsdale. Yikes! And for the first time, Jake Paul started taking accountability. He tweeted out this, Give me my charges and let's put the focus back on George Floyd and Black Lives Matter. Okay. All right. I got to hand it to you. Good job, Jake. Finally owning your mistake. However, Gibb responded by saying this. Jake Paul charged with criminal trespassing? Me. <laughs> KSI responded with this. <laughs> Keemstar responded with this. <laughs> However, a member of Jake's team, he responded on Instagram saying this. Charge me too! If running from the cops shooting tear gas at us with no orders is a crime, then hashtag charge me too. Okay, okay, so it looks like uh, Team Jake Paul already trying to come up with a defense of, hey, we're just running away from the cops. We ended up in a, in a mall that was closed and broken into. Interesting defense. Now, what is Jake Paul looking at? Now, I tweeted out that he was looking up to a year in jail, but I was wrong, reached out to my attorney because the, both charges are like six months each, I believe but really it would only come down to one charge because it's the same event. So Jake Paul is actually looking up to six months in jail if he is found guilty for these charges. However, Jake Paul getting a ton of hate for what he has done. The other Paul, Logan, getting some love. That's right, Logan Paul posted this Twitter video that went viral with 14 million views supporting Black Lives Matter. And at first when I saw this, I just thought Logan Paul was using the situation to make it about him. And I was pretty critical, but I deleted that tweet. And the reason why is because I got to give him the benefit of the doubt. People change, people grow. What Logan Paul did and said was good. And, you know, it just is what it is. Plus, he was Logan Paul was out there protesting, actually protesting. Not a part of the riots like his brother. Not a part of the looting like his brother. He was actually in the riots. So, good on you, Logan Paul. And speaking of other YouTubers doing good, hashtag good guy PewDiePie. That's right, PewDiePie had a charity event with over 100,000 viewers. And he raised over $100,000. He had this to say. Today is a day that I just feel so darn grateful for 
are many things. An amazing wife, friends, and family, but also I'm so darn proud of my audience on YouTube. We managed to raise over $100,000 plus $10,000 of my own to victims of police violence and the sentencing project and for small businesses affected by the looting and riot. Good guy PewDiePie. Also in the news, Bad Baby or Daniel Brigoli, she's actually in rehab. Daniel Brigoli, Bad Baby enters rehab for trauma and pills. Bad Baby's Instagram had a post that said Daniel's been working hard for the past few years and made a positive decision to take much needed time off to attend some personal issues. For the past few weeks, she has been in treatment center receiving and continuing to receive professional support. And speaking about substance abuse, uh, we told you that FaZe Rain was kicked out of the FaZe house and it appears that substance abuse might be part of the problem because he's been putting many tweets out there you know, that, that FaZe doesn't love him anymore because FaZe kicked him out and they won't take him back and FaZe is being unfair. And well, today, Banks responded and uh, this is what was said. FaZe Rain tweeted out, FaZe is treating me so effing unfair after everything I did for you, after letting you not pay me back for five years and letting it slide, F you. I have never been effed over harder. Never. A fan responded by saying, WTF, I would have thought they'd be helping you during a time like this. Rain responded by saying, helping? They're leaving me on the streets. They don't give an F where I am or stay. But that's when Banks responded with, that is the effing true, Norton. We've offered you help numerous times. We've explored so many different options to help you solve your problem. You have shut them all down. Rain fired back with, I'm not going to a facility. I've told you a million times, and you know exactly why we shared that same reason. I came back to LA to try to be happy with you guys, and this is what happens. Banks responded by saying everybody in the house has suggested getting you an apartment with a private nurse and sober buddy and help you beat this thing, and you have said no. We have explored every option and continue to, to drag your friends after everything that's happened is unfair and not the truth. Now, the two of them kept going back and forth, but eventually it turned into love and support for each other. So, uh, wishing you, FaZe Rain, the best. But speaking about being down and out, these two YouTubers might be down and out. And we are talking about Gib and Deji. Gib uploaded a video challenging Deji to a boxing match. And Eddie Hearn, kind of the head of YouTube boxing now, he responded by saying this. Roll it. What is the situation with... YouTube boxing as such thing really it's not really on the agenda at the moment but KSI does want to fight Jake Paul um, it definitely won't happen in 2020 because we've got enough on our plate but I wouldn't be surprised if you saw that in 2021 what about Gib and Deji no no not for me Woo! shot down and speaking about being shut down, Kate Arena has returned back to Twitch, back to YouTube, back to Twitter. You know, this is the girl that had like the eight boyfriends. It was really like four, but she came back and she actually had a ton of support, but one person has been supporting her more than anyone. In fact, one person's trying to get in there. If you know who I'm talking about, Leafy is here. He had this to say on Twitter. A fan said, Katerina and Leafy should start a podcast. Leafy responded by saying, I will depersonalize that kitty cat. And then Leafy uploaded a whole video titled, Katerina, Big Thirsty for Me on stream. Here is a clip of that video. Roll it. I do. To answer your question, I'm not looking for anything serious. Like, I'm not looking to be the 50th boyfriend. But after a lot of thought and a lot of careful consideration of the STDs I might contract, yeah, I think I'm down to hit that. <laughs> Guys, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe with those notifications on. As soon as I get the scoop, I'll keep you in the loop. If you enjoy the work we do here for you, uh, keeping you updated on the news going on in the community, uh, slap a like on it. Drumler Nation, now over 5,500,000 subscribers.